Scratch accounts allow users to make cheap entries to a transient chain on Accumulate. In a typical account, every transaction hash is stored by the data servers to maintain a record of every entry written to the blockchain. In a Scratch account, these transaction hashes are pruned after two weeks, which means that the original data is not stored by Accumulate. What is stored, however, are the root hashes that are collected every minor block at a frequency of approximately one second. This way, if the user wants to validate transactions after two weeks, they can save their transactions off-chain and derive the root hash that is permanently stored by the data servers. The main benefit of Scratch accounts is their cost reduction for high-volume transactions. To better understand how this works, we're going to walk through an example, but first we need to review Accumulate's main chain, signature chain, and root anchor chain, which are described in a white paper linked below in section 2.3, chain of chains architecture, and in section 6.2, account chains. To quickly recap, each ADI on Accumulate has a signature chain for collecting signatures and a main chain for recording signed and validated transactions. Each block validator network, which validates transactions for many different ADIs, has one root anchor chain, which collects root hashes for every ADI's main chain and signature chain. The lifetime of signatures and transactions submitted to the signature chain is approximately two weeks, which makes it functionally similar to a Scratch account. Whether a transaction collects all required signatures and is promoted to the main chain, or it fails to collect the required number of signatures in the allotted time, all signatures are discarded after two weeks. So now that we understand Accumulate's different chains, we can imagine the case where a user owns both a regular account and a Scratch account and see how they compare in terms of cost. We're going to assume that the user submits entries to both the regular account and the Scratch account at the frequency of a minor block. This means that every minor block, there is one entry that also produces one root. The minor block time is approximately one second, which translates to about 1.2 million minor blocks in a period of two weeks. During this two week period, each account will have 1.2 million main chain entries, 1.2 million signature chain entries, and 2.4 million anchors into the root anchor chain. After two weeks, the regular account will have 1.2 million main chain entries and zero signature chain entries, but the scratch account will have zero main chain entries and also zero signature chain entries. Both accounts have still been anchored 2.4 million times, but the main difference between the two accounts is that the main chain entries, which are more expensive, have been pruned on a Scratch account. On Accumulate, fees are primarily charged for transactions. The first signature is free, and additional signatures cost 0.01 cents each. In our example, we're going to assume that only one signature is needed per transaction to make things easier. Now, the cost of writing data to a Scratch account is only 10% of the cost of writing data to a regular account. For a regular account, that's 0.1 cents per transaction. For a Scratch account, that drops to 0.01 cents per transaction. The cost of writing 1.2 million entries would therefore be $1,200 for a regular account and only $120 for a Scratch account. While it may not sound like a huge difference in cost, it can really add up for data-heavy applications. We'll get into some use cases in a later video, but you could imagine, for example, wanting to prune baseline data for massive IoT networks, to pay a lower cost when deriving Oracle data for high-resolution pricing feeds, or storing cryptographic proof of every transaction on an exchange in a compressed format.